Hey badasses, Wednesday's workout, thrusters and burpees. Yay, everybody loves that. Okay, let's start with the warm up. 30 seconds each. We're starting with active Spider-Mans and then we're going into glute bridges and then regular air squats. When you're done here, we'll go to mountain climbers. Uh, single leg glute bridge, let's take 20 seconds on each leg. And then back to air squats. And then we're gonna get some broad jumps followed by glute bridge walkouts, and then another round of air squats. When you're done there, let's go to your barbell or uh, dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever piece you're using. We'll get five good mornings or RDLs with your dumbbell kettlebell, five back squats or goblet squats. We're gonna get some elbow rotations, strict press, RDLs, and five front squats, okay? You can do a variation of this all with your dumbbell or kettlebell as well. Um, if you're doing pull-ups today, let's get in 10 scat pull-ups, followed by three strict pull-ups, five kip swings, and three regular pull-ups. Um, the other option for at home is dumbbell or kettlebell rows. We're gonna show you those in a follow-up video, uh, but you can warm up those as well. Um, watch for the video after this. Practice round. One round of seven thrusters, seven pull-ups, and seven burpees. All right, let's talk about the versions of the workout. At-home version is a 15-minute AMRAP. We're gonna do seven thrusters. You can use a dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell, you can use a plate, you can use a medicine ball, you can use a sandbag, you can use a bag of dog food if you have good balance. You can use anything, okay? Uh, we're getting that full squat and then coming overhead in one motion with whatever you have. You can use one single dumbbell, or you can do one on each side, okay? Um, if you're gonna do one single dumbbell, maybe you only have a light dumbbell, let's get seven reps on one side, seven reps on the other. Okay, next is single arm rows. So we're gonna get seven on each side, whether you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell. And then we're going seven burpees. That is your round, and we're gonna see how many rounds you get in 15 minutes. Okay. Um, the regular gym version is the Bergeron beep test. We've done this plenty of times. It's a good one. It's hard. Um, so the workout goes on the minute for as long as possible. You're going to do seven thrusters at 75-55, seven regular chin over the bar pull-ups. They can be strict kipping, butterfly, whatever you like, and seven burpees. So you do that on the minute. So at three, two, one, go. You do 777. Seven. If that takes you 40 seconds, then you have 20 minutes of rest. Then at minute one, you're gonna do it again. And then at minute two, you're gonna do it again. And at three, you're gonna do it again. You're gonna go as long as you can until you can't fit that work in within that minute. Um, here's the kicker. Most people aren't gonna make it 15 minutes in that workout. So if say you make it seven minutes, let's go ahead and make it a longer workout either scale the reps or scale the weight, and let's continue on for about 15 minutes, okay? You can just kind of take it wherever you are and turn it into an AMRAP. You can lose the every minute on the minute, or you can scale the reps down and keep it as a um, every minute on the minute type workout, okay? Let's alter it, but let's go 15 minutes, get a good workout in, okay? That is the Bergeron beep test or our at-home workout for today, okay? Let me know how it goes. Thanks, guys. All right, our first movement today is thrusters. If you have a barbell, this is what it's going to look like. Full depth squat. Keep that bar nice and closed. Big lockout on top. That top position is a good place to take a breath for your thrusters. We want to keep our elbows up and away from our knees. If you don't have a barbell, we have some other options. So we can do a kettlebell. We'll hold in the front rack. If you have two, you can certainly do two. Uh, if you do one, just double the reps and do an equal amount on each side. If you have a dumbbell, we can do the same. In that front rack position, full depth squat and lock out overhead. And then some of you may have a sandbag. We can do the same thing uh, as the barbell. 
We'll hold in that front rack position with our elbows up as high as you can. Full depth squat and straight overhead. It is awkward, but they're called odd objects for a reason. All right, pull-ups. We have a strict pull-up option. Or we can get into kipping pull-ups. Let's keep those feet together nice and tight. Another option is our butterfly pull-up. And then everyone's favorite, our burpee. Let's get those hands overhead with a little jump on top. 